welcome back to the Book Vandal Shop. I have some journals to share with you today. I actually have five of them, um, but I probably won't flip through all of them because they are very, very similar inside. Um, let's see, they are six inches by nine inches, about a two inch spine. Uh, all of them have five signatures and three of the five signatures are beaded on the spine. So I'll flip them all over here so you can see them. They are all just slightly different. Okay, um, they are all soft cover. Uh, let's see, two of them have a regular traditional cover with uh, ties that close and three of them have these wrap around um, covers. Okay, so let's, let's take a peek inside. The digitals are from my porch prints. Stephanie was kind enough to send her new fall kit. It is called Pumpkin Harvest. It was very beautiful to work with. Really enjoyed working with that kit. Um, so she sent it, sent it to me to use. And so that was very kind of her and I really enjoyed it. So thank you, Stephanie, for that. We have a little tag here on the front, tucks right behind the cover picture and a little metal embellishment there that says live in the moment. This is a little vintage piece right here behind the button. Um, it, it was on a larger doily piece and a little bit of lace. Okay, Open it up. Okay, And the, the soft cover is not floppy. As you'll see, there, there is um, some cardstock inside that helps keep that a little bit stiff, so it helps keep its shape. We have a little library pocket with cards. And uh, let, me, let me zoom you down just a hair. There we are. Now maybe you can see some of the details a little better. And I am not going to talk my way through this. I will let these gorgeous gorgeous digital speak for themselves. It's the first day of autumn, a time of hot chocolatey mornings and toasty marshmallow evenings, and best of all, leaping into leaves. That is a quote from Winnie the Pooh. Some Edith Holden paper. And then it's just embellished with some of the, um, one of the pretty pictures from the kit. Inside the large envelope is just a sheet of coffee dyed paper that's been um, folded up for you to uh, write on. And I won't read all the quotes. We'll leave those as a surprise to whoever ends up with the journal. That's held on with just a piece of Tim Holtz washi tape. You'll see that here and there throughout the journal. Lace edging, lots of machine stitching, and uh, plenty of pages to write on despite um, the embellishing. There, there is still plenty of room to um, journal in this book. Like I said, there are five signatures. Um, if you count sides like a book, there are approximately 196 pages. With a two inch spine, it is a bit of a chunky, uh, chunky journal. This is, um, this is actually a burlap paper. Here, let me show you that for just a second. It's like a card stock on one side, but it's burlap on the other. So it has a texture. It's, it's very, very cool, very interesting. That is vellum there. That's how you can see both sides. And 
wax seal there is a sunflower. The journaling page here is an original from the 1930s. It is not um, a digital copy. There's a little mini notebook here that you could um, put in a purse or a wallet. And this is a piece of fabric, and then this is a um, like a silk flower leaf. dogs is snoring down there sorry somebody always has to make an appearance it's just a little envelope out of the kit and it does have some coffee dyed paper folded up inside Digital is just gorgeous. This is printed on a Epson, Epson Premium Presentation paper, and it, so it's, it feels really smooth. It's a very nice feeling uh, paper. And then this is a paper from the kit. It was very cool. I loved how grungy it looked. Um, so I just printed it out on some really nice um, silky filling um, paper. And then I backed it with a plain um, digital from that I had in my my files. Another envelope there. Again, it has coffee dyed paper on the inside, just fold it up and put in there. I say coffee dyed, some of this might be tea dyed paper. In fact, most of it probably is tea dyed paper. Um, I just have a large stash of it, and so I just put whatever I've got in there. So, but it, it doesn't smell like like coffee dyed paper, so no worries there. This is a page from a calendar book that I have. It's a 1967 calendar book, and I made sure to use the October um, page. And the Edith Holden pages that are in here, all of them I chose um, autumn themed pages from the books so everything correlates really well Oops. okay and then we have a postcard back here and in front we have another little tag tucks down in the lace Okay, and then my book, uh, book mantle shop label is in the back of each of the journals. Okay, so that is number one. I'm going to list, uh, when I list these, I will call this one number one. Um, let's take a look here at number two and see if there are any major differences. There shouldn't be too many. Actually, before we do that real quick, each of the journals will come with a writing board to use um, in journaling. Here, let me open this back up if you're not familiar with what a writing board is. It's so that if there's some three-dimensional elements in the book at all, it makes it easier for you to write. So you just place that in under the page that you want to write on. And then you have a nice firm surface, nice flat surface for um, journaling, okay? 
So that just, excuse me, that just makes it a little bit easier for you to write in the book. Okay, so I have different different ones. They're all a little different, um, but each each journal will come with one writing board, and it's just two two um, layers of chipboard um, with one of the digitals glued on it. So nothing fancy, um, not embellished, and nothing fancy at all. Just um, you know, just something for you to write on, or a surface for you to write on in the journal. Okay, that was number one. Number two is the one right here with a cameo. Okay, and I chose it because it just it matched the colors in the material. You don't have to leave that on there at all. It really does nothing um, except look pretty. Okay, this is one of the wraparound covers. And you can see the uh, fabric is kind of an upholstery style fabric. And it has some little fibers here. It's very pretty, very pretty fabric. front pocket just have some tags and a little um, little cascading ribbon there okay and I've left the threads in all of these journals long you can trim those as you want some people really like that very rustic look with all the threads hanging out so that's up to you um, I won't flip through every page of this because for the most part they are the same there might be a few slight differences as far as collars or you know a little bit of embellishing that might be slightly different but as you can see it's very very similar to the other one um, this one's a little bit different here um, I put this little insert inside this was a greeting card I believe Jean from Inky Owl Studio sent me that in some happy mail so I've just turned it into a little a little insert there's a very rustic little um, notepad that's been glued in there just kind of haphazardly placed in there so it's oh and this is a little pocket right here okay so that is slightly different than the other one I'll tie that later um, just a little bit of different embellishing that's the same pretty much um, the image on the tag might be a little different still uh, five signatures it's still um, 196 pages um, just some of the pockets may be slightly different or um, this is like a little um, folder with a little memo pad in it and a little pocket okay so that's a little different the other one had just a a little miniature journal or notepad. Okay. Other than that, they are pretty, pretty similar. This one, again, still has, each one still has a calendar page from the 60s. Okay, that is number two. Number three as the sunflower on the cover. Okay. Little tag in the front pocket. These are some little pieces from um, the a vintage table runner doily thing that I had. So this look really cute behind the buttons. Okay, this one has a little pencil pocket on the inside, little tag. Um, again, pretty much the same. Um, the little insert here is um, a little bit different. Okay, this one has a little pull-out journal. And that just slides right in there. Um, this one has another little little memo pad folder like the other one. Other than that, again, pretty much the same, some slight variation in, in the embellishing. Okay, that is number three. Number four is this one here. 
and it has a piece of vintage jewelry. It was a necklace that had a bunch of these interlocking rings. I have all these um, costume jewelry pieces, and they make really nice little embellishments in the journals. So there is the, this is number four I said. This one has the wraparound cover, regular pocket in the front like the others. Um, this insert, let's see what's inside this one. Okay, this one has a little, little journal right there and a couple tags in a little pocket. And I don't think there's any other remarkable differences in this one. Oh, this one has a, what's, what's in this one? Oh, this is another little memo pad. Okay, this one has a double pocket and a three-dimensional um, sunflower. So, small differences. Enough, enough difference in each one that um, they are all technically, um, you know, one of a kind. So, okay. Oh, yep, those are lined on the back. Okay, and that is fabric there, the same fabric that's on the cover. And another little pocket here and a fabric pocket with two pull out tags. Okay. And I think that's about the only major differences. Okay. That was number four. And the last one, number five, um, has this vintage lace right here that ties or wraps around. The others have a sari silk ribbon. And then it has this gold leaf, another piece of that costume jewelry that I have. Um, it was a pen or a, a brooch, and I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's supposed to look like there's little droplets of dew or, or water on it. So that's there on the front. Another regular pocket in the front. Um, Not too noticeable differences. This one doesn't have a little closure, burlap closure um, insert. This one uh, just has pockets and tuck spots there on the front and back sides. And this one has, oh, this one is a little miniature journal with a pocket in the back of the cover and pocket in the front of the cover. So it's, it's the, the kit comes with this file. It's like a um, miniature file folder, and there's two of them. So I've just put them together to create um, the cover and uh, little pockets there in the front and back. Okay, uh, this is a piece of book page. Talks about taking care of chrysanthemums, um, which I chose because they are a fall flower. Oh. This one does have a little something special. This is a journaling card that uh, my best friend Lisa made. She gave me some tags and journaling cards that she had made um, because she knows it's not my most favorite thing to do. Um, and she likes doing that part. So she did. She sent me some um, journaling cards and tags. And so I have included one in here. Um, so whoever gets this journal should feel really special about getting it because I don't really share them too much. <laughs> okay. All right. Other than that, pretty much the same. Okay. All right. And so that was number five. So today is Tuesday, September 29th. Um, so I am going to work on getting these listed and uh, some pictures taken of them. And I will try my best to have these ready um, to go um, at 10 o'clock tonight. Um, so that's Tuesday, September 29th at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. That's New York time. Okay. Um, so they'll be listed and uh, ready for purchase in my Etsy shop at that time. Um, and I will make sure that I post on Instagram and Facebook as well. Um, but yeah, I, I hope to have these at 10 p.m. Uh, the shipping is going to just be 
to the United States because right now things are taking so, so long to get delivered. Um, having a hard enough time getting things delivered within the United States, let alone outside. So hopefully after all of this craziness has calmed down, I can go back to doing um, worldwide shipping. But in the meantime, this will be for the United States. Um, 10 o'clock tonight, New York time. They will be in the Etsy shop. Thank you so much, Stephanie from My Porch Prints for letting me use these beautiful digital digitals. I really, really appreciate it. I will make sure that I put her um, links below. It again, it's called the Pumpkin, Pumpkin Harvest Journal Kit. And uh, so make sure you go check that out in her Etsy shop. I didn't even use all the different elements that come um, in the digital kit because there are so many different elements. Um, so yeah, there's, there's plenty to play with in that journal kit. Okay, guys, I will let you go. Um, let's see, today is Tuesday. I will be back on Friday with another Feature Friday. So make sure you pop back in and see who is featured this month. Okay, I will speak to you all very, very soon. Take care. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.